What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DP Dubs and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a harvest like this the cheapest way possible. And we'll be doing that by using the Uncle Ben's tech of course. The first thing we'll need is some good old Uncle Ben's 90 second brown rice. But since we're being El Cheapo over here we're going with the store brand of course. Next on the list is the spores themselves. I myself went with a sports syringe since they're as cheap as 15 bucks a pop. But prices do vary where you go, so shop around. And the next big item on the list is some type of container to put everything in. I went with a 12 quart plastic box, but whatever you get, get it in pairs. And those are the major items. Now there's a few more things that you need, but you can probably find those lying around your house, such as micropore tape and some alcohol, preferably 70%. And if you're not that picky and shop around, you can get all this for roughly around 30 bucks. Okay, so as you see, I have four pouches fully colonized and ready to go. I did skip the injection process, but I aimed for around 0.5 to 1 cc per pouch, and it took me around 20 days to get this far. Now, as we inspect these bags, we can see that snow white mycelium. And that's always a good indicator that everything is good, no contamination. But we really won't know until we open these bad boys up. So we might as well get to that right now. Okay, so we got the bin sanitized with the alcohol and lined with some bags we found laying around the house. And now it's time to break these bricks up into little rocks. So that means time to bust the gloves out if you have them and get your hands dirty. So the goal is to break it down as loose as possible, no clumps. You want to have a nice even spread of mycelium in each bin. So now we're all set to add the substrate. Yeah, I know. I didn't mention anything about the substrate earlier. But I do have a video on making a small batch of substrate for only 20 bucks, And that was just what we needed for these bins. So adding that to the total cost that brings you around 50, it's still not a bad deal. So I skipped the process of where I mix in one inch of substrate with the grain. Then I add another inch on top and smooth it out. People say three inches of substrate is ideal, but since we're running on limited resources, two will have to do. And after I'm done laying the substrate, I like to give each bin a good misting. That sounds kind of weird, but it is what it is. So you don't want to miss too much since your substrate should be somewhat moist. But this substrate was a little dry since it's been sitting for a while. So had to spray it down a bit. You can find these bottles online anywhere for like two bucks. I mean, I think I got mine for a dollar on Timu. You can use a regular spray bottle if that's all you have. But because of the larger droplets, it's probably not preferred. And once we're done with that, the only thing left to do now is put the lid on and do it the right way, unlike what I did, and make sure you sanitize it as well. And then we just tuck them away in a clean, isolated place and play the waiting game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been exactly seven days. Now let's check to see if we have any progress. Okay, see some nice mycelium. All right, not too bad. All right, so we're one for one. Let's check this next bin. More of the same. Nice white mycelium. They both look like they're around 70% colonized. Okay, so we're three for three. We'll take that all day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure I could put these in fruiting conditions right now, but I figure I'll wait another day just to get some of these spots covered. We're trying to get rid of all the bald spots. You feel me? I could be wrong, but I feel like the more mycelium, the more mushrooms you get. And that's what we're aiming for. And there you have it. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that good YouTube stuff. And stay tuned for the next time.